Hi everyone, this is Heather from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to enlarge these files without harming the quality for print. But first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on our website. Oftentimes, when you upload a digital image for print, you may see a low quality warning if you are enlarging the image beyond its native capability. So what I have here are three images from three different cameras and we'll start with a Nikon D750. And what you need to do is go to image and then image size. First of all, let's take a look at what we're working with. I'm going to change pixels to inches. So at 300 pixels per inch, this image would print beautifully as a 12 by 18. Now I'm going to uncheck resample for a moment here. And let's say I wanted to print this as a 36 by 24. Now you'll notice that the resolution went from 300 down to 150. And that's because I have resample unchecked, but that's just interesting to note. If you want to print this image without resampling the pixels, then this is what you would get. Now in general, most professionals recommend that you keep that resolution at at least least 180 or greater. So let's change this 36 to 24 and do say a 24 by 16, in which case you have 232 pixels per inch. So you would still be good. Now you might be asking yourself, well, wait a minute. What if I really did want the 36 by 24? What we're going to do is check resample and make sure that by cubic smoother, these are best for enlargements is selected. And let's change this to 36. And what you'll notice this time is that that resolution did not change. It stayed the same as it was before because we told it to resample the image. That is enlarge these pixels and preserve as much quality as possible. If I can avoid resampling, I will, but if not, Photoshop does a really good job at scaling these pixels and not harming the quality. And remember, the larger you go, the further the acceptable viewing distance. So usually you're fine. Let's take a look at these other images. Let's look at the one from the phone. So again, we're going to go to image and image size, change pixels to inches. And we notice right out of the phone, you can print a 17 by 9 image at 300 pixels per inch. If we turn off resample and we decide we wanted to print this as a 36, by 20 image, we're down to 144 pixels per inch, which I'm not entirely comfortable with. So if I did want this size, I would make sure resample was checked and choose the by cubic smoother. Now, if I change this around a little bit, say I wanted an 18 by 10, I'm still at 288 pixels per inch. I'm comfortable with that. I'm just curious at what point would I need to resample this image. So I'm just going to keep going up until I see a number. There it is. I, I wouldn't print over, let's see here, 28 inches wide by 15 inches tall gives me a resolution of 185 and I would be comfortable with that. Again, once that resolution starts to dip below 180, I'm going to make a different adjustment by resampling. Let's take a look at the last image. This was out of the Fuji X100T. I'm going to image, image size again. I rented this camera a few weeks ago. I did several Facebook live videos. Check them out at flourish.academy slash live to see my thoughts on this camera. I loved it. This is my chicken, Georgina. Her and her sweet chicks were mauled by a weasel lately. You want to hear more about that story? <laughs> Check out homesteadheather.tv where I share our personal lives. And I think the quality that comes out of this camera is fantastic. When I change this width to 24, the resolution becomes 153. I am not okay with that. Let's take that down to 20 and see, okay, 20 by 13 would work for this image. If I wanted to make it larger, I would just have to make sure that I have resample checked. So let's just reset this back to where it was originally. If I wanted to make this image larger, I would definitely choose resample by cubic smoother, take this up to 24, and it would resample and take care of any pixel issues that I might have. 
When do you need to do this? Well, when you need to. <laughs> when the lab says your image has a low quality issue or you want to enlarge something to the size of a billboard. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.